Hello there, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out the UK as you probably know by now. My existing subscribers will definitely know that. My new subscribers, well you'll get to know that pretty soon. And anyone who's passing by, yes, I'm Black Bright. I talk about a range of topics, some of them a bit controversial. The one I am going to talk about today is, I'm not quite sure controversial is the right word. I'm going to call it Let's Pretend. And um, I think if you do like what you hear, bearing in mind, it's not consistent. I talk about a lot of different things. You can like, you can put the thumbs up, the thumbs down, you can share and you can subscribe. So let's pretend. What are we pretending? What is real? What is not real? Are we actors on a large stage? And we've got the government and WHO and the Home Office who are the directors and the producers of our lives. Is that what this is all about? Some people call it a pandemic. And why do they call it a pandemic? Well, I'm going to read a few of my notes. I'm going to ad lib in between and I'm going to give you my thoughts. And we're going to pretend that we are act we are all a part of another type of The Truman Show. I wonder how many of you saw The Truman Show with Jim Carrey. With Jim Carrey, he actually, he didn't realise that this director was filming his whole life. And so he was doing his normal routine and then it was just suddenly he realised that he was actually a part of a wider plan. And so things started deteriorating once he found out that he was just an actor on a stage. Okay, so when Donald Trump, in his opening statement, and that was um, in his briefing yesterday, he used the word trials. And I was wondering if he let the cat out of the bag with that statement. But then, I don't know if I'm the only one that picked that up. Um, so this pandemic... Well, WHO um, have done, well, are conducting a simulation exercise, or so it is written on their website. They're conducting a simulation exercise at the same time that this real pandemic is taking place. Now, for those of you who do not know what a simulation exercise is, it's a kind of, um, it's like role playing. It's like planning out an event so that you can have all the systems in place in the case of an emergency, just in case that emergency happens and then you are able to counteract any kind of problems because you've played it out already. That is what like a simulation exercise is. So um, let me see what I've got here. This is the definition of what a simulation exercise is. It is a practice activity or role play that places participants in a simulated situation, requiring them to function in the capacity expected of them in a real event. It can help develop, assess and test functional capabilities of emergency systems, procedures and mechanisms to be able to respond to outbreaks or public health emergencies. Role plays and simulation exercises help the assessors in this emergency situation. It, in this emergency situation, it would probably be WHO and the government. They would be our assessors. Accurate, accurately assess how candidates, i.e. I would assume we the people, perform in areas central to everyday business, allowing candidates, i.e like I said, we the people, to demonstrate their aptitude in dealing with the situation. So supposing, just supposing, this coronavirus pandemic was a simulation exercise to see how people reacted if they went without jobs, um, when all their freedom is taken away, when we're governed by police, when there's a lockdown, how are people going to react? 
And if they react this way, how is the government going to interject and make sure all the systems are in place so that it's controlled and it runs smoothly in the event of a real situation like this? So its purpose is to promote preparedness by testing policies and plans, standard operating procedures and personal training. The goal is locating and eliminating problems prior to an actual emergency, which is why officials are confident to commit resources. So we've got um, Trump committing three, I think, I think it's three trillion um, euro. The euro is giving member states, I think they've got about 37 billion that they're giving out only to member states. Now the UK has left uh, the European Union. They won't be able to get any money from them. They're probably going to, their recourse is probably going to be China. I don't know who's going to help um, bail out UK if it goes down worse than what they expect. So some people have called COVID-19 a pandemic, which is a clever play on words, but supposing it is. Supposing we are all set up or programmed for the real thing. Logical Annie, check her out on YouTube, begs the question, is it normal for the World Health Organization, who are at the forefront of the pandemic, to be running simulation exercises of the coronavirus 19 at the same time as a real pandemic? I mean, what I, what I, what I was wondering, I mean, she does show you, I'm going to put her link underneath, she does show you the document that she's looking at that tells you where stage one is going, which is Ethiopia, and where they plan to have phase two, which is Uganda. So she put, and a, but I don't understand why, if this is the case, why they would put it in a document that is accessible to the public so that we actually know their plans. To me... That doesn't make sense if the if, it, if this is a simulation exercise. I'm sure if it was a simulation exercise, it would be kept under wraps. It wouldn't be on the website. Anyway, Trump started his coronavirus and US task force da daily briefing on the 1st of April, which was yesterday, with the words, our country is in the midst of a national trial. Now, when he said trial, I thought, hmm, that's a strange word to use. What is he trialing? What is the trial he's talking about? And I was wondering, has he blundered? Has he said a word that he's not supposed to say? But then the word trial can be used um, in different contexts. So I, I just thought, you know, somebody else would have picked it up if he meant the context that I was thinking of. And maybe he's talking about trial as in trial and tribulations. So I don't know, but he did say those words. If you listen to the, new, the, the briefing of yesterday, he does say, our country is in the midst of a great national trial. So is the trial this mock-up? Is the trial the simulation exercise? Is the child a pandemic? How are we to know? So, um, what else? In the WHO calendar, apparently, according to Annie, Lo logical Annie, um, she says it does say simulation exercise from the 5th of March 2020 to the 5th of June 2020. And there's something about the Ethiopia, Ethiopia COVID-19 SIMX, which, stand, which is shortened for simulation exercise, which coincides with what is happening now. It's apparently a site the African region. It, it, um, it says review and operational management process for a suspension of case of COVID-19. It shows the purpose. I mean, she, when you look at, the, at her website, it's got, the link apparently, and she says that the Ethiopian press reported that they had to postpone events on that same day, the 5th of March. So, Logical Annie is asking, is this a part of a mock-up? Is all of this 
a simulation exercise. Apparently, research shows that people generally respond to an emergency in the way they are trained. So could we be puppets because WHO appears to be conducting a simulation exercise using Ethiopia as the stage in conjunction, which is what is happening around the world now. And another simulation exercise is apparently being planned for Uganda in September. Like any pandemic, government must test their plans and procedures so that they're better prepared to react. The way we react will determine how they respond. But supposing people react differently to what they expect midway through the game. Remember I showed you that um, video of the Jamaicans, how they're not complying. They're saying that they are not going to stay in their yard. Regardless, what happens in that situation? What is a contingency plan for people who defy? After all, if this is just a trial... Are we allowed to test the boundaries? Or is it just like the Monopoly game? We take a chance and go straight to jail. The Truman Show is the best example I could come up with when explaining what a simulation exercise is like. Are we unwitting actors in a fantastic but dangerous movie? If so, who collects the revenue from the, from the box office? The box office for the Truman Show was 264.1 US dollars and the budget was 60 million. Trump's budget is 3 trillion. I am not sure what the UK's budget is. <clears throat> As we've left the EU, we get nothing out of the 37 billion of cohesion funds that EU is offering to member states as part of their coronavirus response investment initiative to address the consequences of the crisis. So, we will just have to see what Great Britain's role is in this movie. No doubt we'll be heavily, heavily reliant on China to come to the rescue. Is the government and WHO playing the part of Ed Harris, Christoph, in The Truman Show, in directing and producing this global movie? I doubt we'll ever know until the movie has run its course, and maybe we'll see it when it comes out on DVD. And that's all I have got to say for now, peeps.